The following Let's Play features a game using strong language, alludes to drug use, and addresses mature themes not suitable for younger viewers. The content of this video is not aimed towards kids, but rather young adults and older audience members. As such, this video should not be viewed by anyone under the age of 17. Thank you and enjoy the video. What's up guys, we're back again with another episode of Monster Prom! We're on week 5 in the evening time, and we are going to go to class. Ah, oh, that day you are astonished by some new stuff you learned in class. You thought high school was all about doing stupid shit with your friends and trying to find true love. Who would have thought that class could actually be useful? What a nice surprise. You gain plus one value election, good luck trying to use that within the game, and plus two smarts. I'm, I'm doing pretty decent across the board, not bad. Later you see Polly floating around, her ghostly glow less ghastly than usual. Oh hey Tevin, I'm just hovering a little low today. Everyone seems so hyped about love, and I love being hyped, but I'm not really sure how this love thing works, you know? I thought I was in love once, I met a beautiful girl at a party and felt this strange magic. My temperature rose, I felt even floatier than usual, everything was so bright and beautiful, I was ecstatic. But then I remember that I had taken literally ecstasy, so I was probably just that. I had taken literal ecstasy, so it was probably just that. Classic mistake, am I right? I've had some pretty good highs, but they say being in love is the greatest high of all. The next time I'm on a date with someone, what can I do to fall in love? Or float in love, since gravity doesn't actually affect me. Oh, uh, you don't want Polly to float in love with another person. But you like Polly just too much to not help her despite the consequences. Stare deeply into their eyes for 14 out. Oh no. Sometimes we see people fall in love faster when afraid. Do something fun with them, like getting stabbed. Oh my god, great point. I love science. I mean, I don't, but I love it when it makes, uh, gets me drugged. When it gets me drugged or gets me laid. Loved, not laid. Loved, in love. With that, Polly disappears, literally, to begin her quest for the terror that is love. She catches up with you a few days later. There you are, Tevin. Guess what? Your plan sucked. I met this super cute humanoid on Tinder and I spent the whole evening just hanging out in the dark alleys waiting to get stabbed, but nobody stabbed us the entire night. All that happens is that we saw some homeless guy pee on a stray cat and a sketchy drug deal went down. And I couldn't even get in on that drug deal because I was busy trying to get knives all up in there. Like for real, what's a ghost guy do to get stabbed these days? So finally I got bored of waiting and just stabbed him myself. It did not help us fall in love, because then he just said, Oh, why did you stab me? I'm bleeding out. I'm dying. I hate you. And I was like, whoa, dude, chill. I'm trying to be romantic here. If there's one thing I learned from this evening, it's that mortals don't like bleeding out, and you know nothing about love. Oh, but that's two things. Also, it's the opposite of how you want Polly to feel about you. Oh, god damn it. You lose two charm in one smarts. Just when it was high across the board, I fuck it up. Then again, honestly speaking, in hindsight, getting stabbed is probably stupid, so I deserve every bit of that that I got. Why did I go to the auditorium again? Oh, that day you rehearsed the class play, you totally feel your lines terrible, but you don't let that get to you. You start improvising all your lines, and it's marvelous. Somehow enhances the pathos of the play in unexpected ways. And that's saying something, since half of your improvisations is a rap battle against your inner fears. <laughs> I gave Let's Do Great Titty. Glad I got that back. Oh, forget about that though. Polly's here and she looks ready to party, so basically just normal. Well, there you are, my favorite party favor, besides ecstasy. You ready to get crazy? I'm glad you don't hate me. That's a good sign. You indicate, though, a heart stopping glow stick maneuver that you are indeed ready to hit the clubs. The clubs? Not tonight, boo. Tonight we're going to engage in my favorite pastime party crashing. I just love crashing parties and making them go wilder and crazier, you know? Tonight we're gonna crash this totally sweet baby shower I just heard about. God damn it, Polly! Why a baby shower? And knowing you, I bet you got some killer ideas for how we could crash it. Nothing adds up a baby shower like extra babies. Literally crash into the party like with a boat. See, this is what I came to you for. Two, two, all aboard the party boat! Using your advanced nautical knowledge and your proficiency in crime, you easily hotwire a boat and crash into the party. 
Ahoy, land lovers! Where's the grog? Who's pregnant? It turns out the party was nautically themed, so the guests immediately start applauding with what they think is a planned interruption. The host is forced to play along, or look like an idiot who just lets boats crash into their party. <laughs> you have a great time sharing rum, singing she santies, and giving the baby a sick anchor tattoo on her little unborn bicep. You gain plus two fun and plus one charm. Oh boy, this is going pretty well. My money is still low because I have done nothing to try to get more money. Paul and Miranda sit together, surrounded by Miranda's uh, customary crowd of serfs. So wait, you actually got serfs who eat for you? Well, of course. I find eating to be terribly undignified, so I almost never do it. Hey, me neither. What kind of other crazy serfs have you got? Well, I have a serf to go to the bathroom for me, a serf to experience difficult emotions for me, and a serf for keeping me or keeping my silverware in alphabetical order. I even have a serving serf for standing on top of wherever I am go oh whenever I go surf oh, to stand on top of whenever I go surfing, duh. Well, that's a lot of serfs. It's a fair amount. The only limit is my imagination. Unfortunately, my imagination serf um Imagine a way to escape from serverdom, so now I'm all out of ideas. Well, I'm sure with the help of Tevin, we can probably think of a dope new kind of surf. Oh, is that so? I can't wait. Well, you're on the spot now. What will it be? Oh, Miranda, you should get a puppy surf. It's not actually a surf, it's just like 50 cute dogs. You should get a party surf, Polly. A surf to experience your hangovers for you. A surf for me? I couldn't possibly. Why not? I do it all the time. But isn't it wrong to make someone else experience the negative consequences of your actions? Well, like I said, I do it all the time and Father says I can do no wrong, therefore it's probably fine. Oh, okay, hell yeah! Let's hire a dude to deal with all my withdrawal symptoms. Hire? Polly dearest, we don't pay our serfs. <laughs> we don't? Sweet deal. Polly hires the burliest hangover serf she can find and the two of you go out for a night of your lives. The surf is dead in the morning from the epic hangover, but the memories are well worth the second degree manslaughter. God damn! Oh my god. <laughs> Alright. Um, it's been a while since we checked out the library. Super, uh, what? Benito boy, bros? Uh, that day, you spend some time on the library's PC managing your uh, start kicker. You deceive lots of people a sensationalist video and impossible promise. Nice. You gain plus 10,000 money, but almost everything goes to cover costs and you keep only plus 2. God, ugh. You could start doing something productive, or you could put on your blanket and get up to some good old ghost shenanigans. You're looking for someone, but you're running to the person that might finally see through your ghost's deception, apart from boring Liam. Is it Polly? Ha ha ha! Polly! Wait. What's this? Another ghost? No, I can't believe this. Finally, someone else noticed this. This is clearly just Tevin wearing a... I can't believe it's because it's just too cool to be true. Oh, come on. It's not cool nor true. Shush, Liam. I can't hear our cool new ghost friend over your jealousy. So tell me, how did he die? We has to share so much ghost gossip, or ghostship, as I like to call it. Hmm, good question. Time to improve a lie with another bigger lie. I was offered as a sacrifice to the god of party. I can only tell that I died on the third date. Boo, ghost wing. Ooh. Oh my god, I just, let's go at the party, whoa. That's just stupid. You mean stupidly awesome. Not just plain stupid. Also, which got a party? Uh, Nanasis, Nikikasi, the deer person. Who cares, you party pooper? I'm just saying, his story has more holes than the actual hose cut out in the blanket he is clearly wearing. Shut up, Liam. Maybe we should sacrifice you to the Gata party. You don't like you don't like such bad vibes, and because of that, you start dancing. Polly joins you. Ghost dance! I swear I'm gonna follow you around until you take off that sheet. 
not a chance. But for now, Ghost Dance. Also, you gain plus two creativity and plus one fun. The Monster Prom draws near. Alright, who will you ask to the prom? Okay, it is the moment of truth! Well, Polly, will you go to Monster Prom with me? Ask Polly to prom? Yes. Hey, boo. Prom? Nah, Ghost on Ghost is like super vanilla. I have enough ghosts with myself. If you were something else, maybe like a zombie or a diamond or a Frankenstein's monster, or the very concept of fear. But no, you're clearly a very realistic ghost, just like me. Wait, you actually are one of those things. Polly out! And she's plastered out before you take off your stupid blanket. God damn it! Prom night sucks. Why did you decide to ask, ask someone to the prom while wearing a blanket? How was I supposed to know I was going to ask them to wear the goddamn blanket? You pretend to be a ghost, yet you're the one haunted by the ghost of your failures. <laughs> Boo! Uh, new secret ending zero, new event 17, new outcome 17. I got 17 out of 416. Uh, Tevin, best at high fiving. Polly's quote, one less piece of unfinished business, suckers. Well, that's boss of prom. I failed. Those six, those six weeks were maybe the most epic and absurd weeks of my life. After the monster prom, we kept on living our lives, falling in, lo falling in love, battling for friendships, and learning about who we were and who we could be. And you know what? Like it always does, life happened, and it was wonderful. Polly took a summer job as the ghost Christmas as the ghost of Christmas present. She spent most of her time partying. There was almost no work because you know it was summer. Liam honed his most admirable skill and got a job with it. He now designs Instagram filters. Scott turned out to be a genius and became the most renowned mathematician in the country. JK, he became an athlete, duh. He's still a bit of a simpleton, but as lovable and good-hearted as ever. For those six weeks, the monster prom seemed larger than life, and then it was gone, just like that. The battle for monster prom might have ended then, but there were plenty of battles left in that war called youth. But once again, we were young and unafraid, and we were ready to start. Okay, so that's Monster Prom, everyone. I fucked up and failed. So, yay. I guess it's time to try again. Oh. All right, so obviously I'm gonna be I'm gonna keep on playing this game, and I'm gonna try to go on different routes to get all these guys, or to uh, date all six of these characters. So. This is the first failed run for Monster Prom of me trying to get Polly. The next one, you'll, oh, I'll probably put up uh, epi um, episodes of failed and successful runs of the characters. Hopefully, I don't have to do so many failed runs, so I don't need to play this over and over and over again. But I'm going to keep playing this over and over and over again. I just don't feel like editing a whole lot. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I'm sorry about the level of swearing in this one, but... That is the theme of Monster Prom, so it's probably gonna happen, so just a fair warning for future episodes, but you already know if you're already this far into it. So take care everyone, and I'll see you next time. So I'm gonna peace out, and you guys can enjoy the rest of the video.